Hello, I'm Hector G and this is Gabby G for Urban Lime and today we're reviewing the Amazon Echo. The Echo is a hands-free speaker that you control with your voice. It can connect to your Bluetooth devices like your phone or tablets for the purposes of streaming audio. The Echo is capable of playing music and giving you the latest news, sports scores, and weather, among other things. In a way, it's like Siri or Google Now, but not as refined in, in some aspects. The Echo has seven microphones that feature far field technology, so it can hear you from across the room even if you're playing music loudly. The Echo must be plugged into an electric outlet to work. It does not have an auxiliary output, and so you can't connect it to any external speakers. You can easily manage your Echo with the free Alexa app on Android or iOS platform, as well as desktop browsers. From there, you can connect your services you already use, such as Pandora or Spotify. Alexa, play I Got a Feeling by Black Eyed Peas on Prime. I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas from Prime Music. Alexa, stop. The Echo also comes with support for Amazon Music, Prime Music, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn. From the app, you can also set your home and work locations for traffic updates. Alexa, give me a traffic update. The fastest route takes about 49 minutes via SR Tollway 874 and SR Tollway 836. You can also get the news or sports scores using the pre-configured news outlets and sports teams. Alexa, give me my flash briefing. Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News from TuneIn. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Barbara Klein. Republican presidential contender Donald Trump says his supporters Alexa, are nuts. Stop. And is Alexa, give me my sports update. Here is your sports update. In MLB. Earlier today, the Marlins beat the Red Sox, 11-8. They'll play tomorrow at 12.05 p.m. in Jupiter, Florida against the Mets. Alexa, stop. You can also create shopping lists. Alexa, add Oreos to my shopping list. I put Oreos on your shopping list. And to-do lists. Alexa, add mow the lawn to the to-do list. I've added mow the lawn to your to-do list. These items will show up on your Alexa app, so no matter where you are, they'll be available to you. You can set timers and alarms. Alexa, set a timer for three seconds. Three seconds, starting now. Alexa, stop. All of these can be managed via the Alexa app, where you can change things such as alarm tones. There really aren't many, and you have to choose from a predefined list. The app is also where you discover and enable third-party skills. There aren't too many of these either, and we weren't really impressed by them, but we imagine that they'll get better just like the Google Play Store did. The only one skill that we can find the real use for was the metronome, but that's only if you're a musician. Alexa, open metronome. Welcome to Zaza Zoo Acoustic Metronome. Say the beats per minute you would like me to play. For details, say help. 140 beats. Playing 140 beats per minute. Alexa, stop. One of our favorite features is the connected home. By default, the Echo can control devices from Wemo, Philips Hue, SmartThings, Insteon, and Wink by just searching for them. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. If you have a Philips Hue bridge, please press the button located on the bridge. The search can take up to 20 seconds. Discovery is complete. I found 31 connected home devices. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. We, however, don't have any of these as our main controller is a Vera Edge hub, which is similar in nature to the SmartThings hub. Luckily, we found the developer on GitHub that had created a home automation bridge that makes the Echo think devices on the Vera are Philips Hue devices. And with that, we are able to control our devices. Note that this is not for the faint at heart and will require some work. The links will be added below for if you're interested. The following commands will work with all supported devices. So just imagine that we're connected to a SmartThings hub. 
Alexa, turn on turtle lamp. Alexa, turn off turtle lamp. Alexa, turn on close shades a bit. This is the feature that we feel makes the Echo most valuable. This is a tool the entire family can use. Alexa, spell Mississippi. Mississippi is spelled M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. It can also be used in rooms like the kitchen. Alexa, how many cups in a gallon? One gallon equals 16 cups. You can even use such apps such as If This and That to make it smarter at controlling your connected home. If you want to stop Alexa from listening, you can hit the mute button at any time and she won't hear a peep. Her ring will turn red to indicate that. We feel that the Echo is a device full of promise. The voice recognition is amazing and very accurate. The built-in apps are somewhat limited, but we can see these getting better in the future. We feel that the Amazon commercials make Alexa seem a little smarter than she really is. If you don't set her up via the Alexa app, lots of things just won't work. Alexa only knows where you live and work, so you can't really ask her things like, how's the commute from American Airlines Arena to Miami International Airport? It may give you an answer, but it will be incorrect because it will use your home address as one of the points even though you never mentioned it. At the moment, there is no open API, which is a bummer for developers. Other than that, we feel it's a cool toy and somewhat helpful assistant. The Echo goes for $179.99 on Amazon. There's also a new Amazon Echo Dot now that goes for $89.99. The only thing missing from this one is the speaker feature, but it has an auxiliary port that will allow you to connect external devices. This is Hector G, and Gabby G for Urban Lime. Hope you enjoyed the review and don't forget to subscribe.